Welcome to the daily prayer recording from the Nativity of the Virgin Mary Macedonian Orthodox Church. Lord, allow me to peacefully receive what the day may bring, as well as surrender it completely to your holy will. Guide and help me every moment of this day. Whatever news I hear, may I receive it calmly and with a firm conviction that everything happens according to your holy will. Manage my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. Do not allow me to forget in any unforeseen event that everything comes from you. Teach me to properly honor thy parents and love thy neighbor, to always lift others and instill happiness. Lord, Give me the strength to endure the fatigue of today as well as what happens within the day. Guide me with your will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to endure, to forgive, and to love. Amen. Good morning, dear parishioners. Today is September 29th, and we are celebrating the life of the holy and great martyr Euphemia. The holy and great martyr Euphemia, the young maiden, was discovered and they were brought before Prius to answer themselves for believing in the Christ. For 19 days, the martyrs were subject to various tortures and torments, but none of them waived their faith and consented to offer sacrifice to the idol. The governor beside himself with rage and not knowing any other way to force the Christians to abandon their faith, sent them to trial to the imperial Diocletian. He kept the youngest and the virgin one, Euphemia, hoping that she would not remain strong if she were all alone. Saint Euphemia, separated from her brother in faith, faithfully prayed to the Lord Jesus Christ that he strengthened her in her impending ordeal. Prius, the first urged the saint to recent promising her earthly blessings, but then he gave the order to torture her. With the help of God, Saint Euphemia emerged unharmed after many other tortures and torments. Ascribing this to so- sorcery, the governor gave order to dig out a new pit and filling it, it with knives and had it covered over with earth and grass so that the martyr would not notice the preparation for the execution. Finally, one of the shebear gave her a small wound on the leg from which came blood and immediately the holy and great martyr Euphemia died. A majestic church was afterwards built over the grave of the great martyr Euphemia. At this temple, the sessions of the fourth ecumenical Council took place in the year 451. At that time, the Holy Great Martyr Euphemia confirmed the Orthodox Confession in the miraculous manner. May our Lord Jesus Christ, through the prayers of the Great Martyr Euphemia, bless us with a long life, peace, health, and salvation. And of course, we are looking forward to see you all on our Divine Liturgy this upcoming Sunday, starting at 10:30. AM. May God bless you all.